Hello comrades, welcome back. It's been a while for me, about a week. I really should have checked where we were before I started recording, but oh well. <laughs> we are modernizing the army. Ah, yes, okay. Yeah, we've ended the national debate, okay, okay. That means we're getting quite a bit of political power then, or do we have like... Ooh, well, wow, okay. Yeah, the only bad thing we have is an underdeveloped economy. Um, so we could try and get rid of that. That might be uh, quite good for us. Wait a minute, so minus 20% um, efficiency cap? And with that, we're still all the way up there? Wow, okay, cool. I would expect it to be, like, down here, but no. All right, we're pretty damn good, then. Um, cool. Coolio. I think there's something else I wanted to do with my political power than just doing that, but anyways, yeah. Um, we are volunteering our forces in the Kuomintang. Yep. Their war against... The Republicans. No. Ooh. We have the Chinese Singlet Syndicalist Party and the Kuomintang. Interesting. So Chinese Syndicalists actually have a good amount of power there. Wow. Can they get in power somehow, maybe? Third Shanto Conference. It doesn't seem like any difference if they get in power, but maybe it's all like local support? Mm. Okay, Republican United Front. I see. I see, so they got syndicalism because of that. Enlightened gentry dominance. Ugh. 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 <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that. Just going ugh over and over again. Um, yeah, cool, coolio. And right, and these guys had their election, and they're keeping the radical socialists in power. So you know, pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. We're not volunteering anywhere else. Though. Indian Empire is actually doing, uh... Oh, hold on. Well, their, their lines, it says their lines are a bit weaker now. It's about the same strength of it as us, so I'd say. Yeah. Could definitely use some more on purple. We're doing, like, equal. That's alright. Support equipment. We need support equipment. We need a lot of support equipment. I see. We're getting that. Good job. Alright. Um, yeah, Let, let's, let's go, I guess, really. Are we doing any upgrades here, actually? Yeah, yeah, we're getting commando training. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, this guy. I remember that guy now. The, the handsome guy or whatever. Um, go to Changsha if you can. If you would, please. You won't. Oh well. We can attack him at least. Urban? Oof. Okay. Yeah. Oof. Urban is not good for attacking. Yeah, that makes sense. Hills. Hills are not good for attacking either. Plains. That's a good place. Ooh, you know what? That is indeed a good place. Half of you, stop what you're doing and go over there. Unless you're going over there. You are not! Good lad. Oh, some of them are trying to move over here. Interesting. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, okay, not the best. Ooh! <gasps> but we're about to get in circle. Encircy Mint. We're about to get Encircy Mint. Yay, Encircy Mint. 
Um, you try and move over there. Try and get in Circuman. No, you stay right there, Bucko. We're gonna encircle you. We're getting encirclement. <laughs> and we have commando training. Nice. Uh, we don't want that because that messes up your decisions tab and makes it awful. Um. I don't know, we could go for either of these, really. Um... Intelligence from operatives and infiltrated assets. Ooh. Ooh, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, let's get some invisible ink. <laughs> let's get an encirclement! <laughs> Childish joy. And the Russian Empire marches forward. Like the bastards they are. Y'all a bunch of motherfuckers. Better ba do. Y'all a bunch of motherfuckers. Better ba do. Out of this province, if I can. Shit. Yeah, just go. Keep them from moving. Remember, the Cyrenaic has joined the Cairo Pact. Hey, Egypt's finally getting some friends instead of saying we're in the Cairo Pact and then no one else joining. <laughs> That'll happen sometimes. <laughs> Or a, f a, f a factional form, where like a, a government would just form a faction, and it's like no one's in it. It's just that one nation. <laughs> Always kind of funny. Oh, oh. Let's see here. Ashwani Gupta, seducer or tough. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> seducer. <laughs> um, alright, what do we want these guys to do then? Maybe, maybe you do, uh... You build intelligence in Hyderabad. Hyderabad, very bad. All right, circument gone. Um... Let's see if you can move in there real quick, actually. Come on, yeah, all right. We did it. Situandra clique has joined Northern Sealy clique. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so, the legitimist Chinese are uh, are joining up. The federal Chinese are not doing much, and then see what I mean by like the factions with only one nation in them. <laughs> Poor guys. <laughs> you know, what? fine. Just go over there. Oh, right. That's why we were trying to do that. Yeah, someone help out, please. Oh, boy. Well, we didn't circle them, at least. See, 
got that. Current wars. Where is this and all of the wars going on? Southern expedition. Yeah, it looks right. Alright. Eh. Not good. Not looking the best. Yeah, not looking not looking the best at all. I'm pretty sure that this is just because of the encirclement and maybe a bit more. Actually, hold on. You're the Hunan clique. Yeah, I think we, I think we uh, encircle some na national revolutionary. Wait, wait. Guangzhou. That's what it is. Not national revolutionary. Um. Commune. Commune. Let's get this bread. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's a slog, but it's something to watch. Oh yeah, we could upgrade this kid. No, we can't. Never mind. We can do operations, but I don't bother. I, I gotta be honest. I got <laughs> La Resistance on sale for the Anarchist Spain playthrough <laughs> so that I'd have the, the, the national focus tree. Alright, stop it. <laughs> Nothing's happening there. Actually, that could be pretty interesting. Is, uh, is getting intelligence on these guys and doing operations on these guys. I think matters in India are more pressing, though. Like, if we get four spies, then one of them can go over here and do stuff. But for now, I want one in each to get intelligence up and high, and keep it there. And then one spy to do propaganda in each of those countries. They're called countries for a reason. They're cunts. <laughs> I'm American, so that's, that's a taboo word. Uh, you, you're not supposed to say that. Oh, uh, uh, that's... Well... I don't know. It's not a slur, necessarily. I don't know. Some people, like, I guess the way that, like, some Americans might explain it is that it's a slur for the vagina. You know? Wait, no, it's you. You! Improved artillery! Improve yourselves! Take a yoga class today. Um. We're waiting for this focus. It's almost done. Uh, but what, what else could we get? Actually, I watched a, uh, a Hearts of Iron, like, meta, like, what's the meta kind of video. And apparently what you do is you have a bunch of infantry and a heavy tank. And that'll make, like, a really good division for attacking or defending or anything like that. That's apparently the meta. It's banned in, like, multiplayer because of that, because it's just so good, apparently. <laughs> Like, wow, alright. <laughs> and we're getting everything. You know what, I'm just gonna wait a few days and we're gonna... Uh, oh, with, within 30 days you can choose a new area of research. I did not know that. I always thought that it would... I guess it's the same here. Okay. I'm learning stuff here. Learning stuff with you guys. If anyone even is still watching this series. You know what, by the way, I forgot to mention, um... <laughs> I guess, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll mention it now. Uh, hello, if you're from the Philosophy Discord. Um, yeah, I guess this is a bit of a shout-out, I guess. Sorry for bumping my mic, I'm, I'm itching the bug bite on my chin. Um, <laughs> but yeah, there's a channel called Philosophy. Um, it's Philosophy's gaming channel, or something like that. But yeah, basically, <laughs> this dude, I like this dude, he's pretty cool, interesting, like, you know, just go into the Discord, like, visit, uh, you know, like, yeah, his little, like, Patreon page that you can see without paying and all that, if you want, just like, this is a, this is a pretty interesting dude, just in general, and then, uh, he, he plays games that I quite like his, his gameplay, and 
his commentary and all that. I find him quite funny. And then, in his, uh... <laughs> well, I guess, uh, hold on. There. Eh, I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I'm horrible. Anyways, um... In there... Um... <laughs> in their Discord, uh... They have a, uh... A self-promotion channel, and so, uh... Yeah, if, uh, if you aren't from there, basically, I just, I self-promoted, it's like, hey, I have this channel, and then, <laughs> uh, someone was like, Kaiser Reich? I thought that was a far-right scenario, and it's like, nah, it's just if Germany won World War One. It is radical, though. <laughs> it's a radical setting. Yeah. I guess, um, to be clear, I don't, um, Philosophi- Philosophi isn't, or I guess, uh, DAG. DAG, that's it, that's their, uh, name that they introduce themselves with. Um, yeah, DAG isn't, like, necessarily a leftist, but definitely not, not right-leaning or anything. Like, I mean, they, it, that's, that's, uh, that is their pronouns, I believe, it's they, them. And also, interesting, um, Quite interesting. When they uh, refer to themselves, they use we, um, uh, and that's like because of uh, you know technically a, a human body is you know several trillion cells and all that. So you know it it makes it makes sense, um, I guess. But you know it's interesting. It doesn't hurt me. I'm fine. He's he's fine. It's like yeah. yeah it's, I don't know. See, like, yeah, alright, cool. Never heard this before, it's really interesting. <laughs> um, yeah. So that is part of the reason they use the they, them pronouns. I believe they use they, them, and I, I might be completely wrong. Anyways, yeah, go check out, go check out their channel. It's, uh, it's pretty interesting. Um, Communes artillery mostly dates from the Weltkrieg. We must modernize our artillery unless we wish our soldiers to be eviscerated without proper support. Yes. Oh no, not mechanized. Um, those can be pretty good though. I need, I, you know what? I need to look more into like the meta. Yeah. Because um, when I say like, I saw a video like discussing the meta. Basically, it was a, it was a, a passing comment of uh, of Conquering History Games. Uh, it's another channel. I love mentioning channels, don't I? Uh, Conquering History Games. This is a playthrough of uh, the Staatsburgund or whatever. I don't know. Basically, <laughs> mega Nazis in uh, in uh, in uh, the New Order. So yeah, in, don't like. Is uh, I've heard there's apparently some sort of. Um, Controversy there was because uh, apparently some of the devs thought this whole project was basically Nazi J J Daydream <laughs> Simulator, but no, it's just what if the Germans won World War II? How awful would the world be? <laughs> like this mod spares no expense. It, it's really interesting. It, it is basically a novel. <laughs> like people will criticize Kaiserreich for being like a linear game or whatever. Like. Well, TNO actually has uh, quite a few different paths you can do in many countries, but it is a novel. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it is a novel, but it doesn't spare any expense, like, you know, discussing, like, okay, the, so, you know, like, you got this, uh, this really idealistic uh, guy in, in Eastern Russia that basically he was born like <laughs> barely when the when the Soviet Union was still a thing, so he doesn't really remember much of it at all. So he like praises Bukharin or Bukharin or whatever. Um, although Bukharin is kind of an asshole, but like he doesn't know because he he was just a child then. Just take uh, Tino takes takes place in the sixties. Um, so he like is trying to uh, to reform. Bukharin's or Bukharin's, uh, like, Soviet Russia, but his image of <laughs> Bukharin's Soviet Russia is very idealistic and, uh, well, quite nice, actually. But, anyways, 
I can't remember if I mentioned this, but basically that's that's Soblin. Uh, in Soblin in uh, Buryat. Buryatia, Buryatia, yeah, something like that. Um, yeah, Comrade Soblin. I don't know. He, he was an admiral in the original timeline of, of, uh, of the, the Russian, like, Arctic Navy or something. I don't know, but he's, like, inland now. <laughs> Uh, but, and, uh, yeah, he, he basically leads a, a revolt against the oppressive Yagoda, uh, the last remnants of the uh, KGB trying to hold on to the last remnants of the Soviet Union, and, uh, and Sablin is like, this isn't what Bukharin wanted, and then, well, Yagoda's like, Bukharin literally hired me, I'm probably being easier than he would have been on you, you bastard. <laughs> Reactionary uprising crushed in Brazil. The end of the revolt and the surrender exiled the involved state presidents. The Union of Brazil cemented its position of power. However, the conflict has left its scars. Already, the cries of most amnesty and treason trials echo across the nation as the intense reinstatement of resentment towards the federal government does not fade with the end of the armed conflict. Truly, only the first step in what is sure to be an era of immense change in Brazil as a whole. You cannot march against history. Mm, excuse me. <laughs> You guys again, radical socialists. Okay, well you got something kind of right, I guess. Then <laughs> it is so weird, though. Like half the time, radical socialists are basically just social democrats, but then, but they're like, oh, but uh, we're not. You know, basically they're social democrats that want that believe that a revolution is necessary, <laughs> or they can be like. Legit, you know, like agrarians, or you know, or uh, or anarchists that aren't necessarily tied to the uh, to syndicalism. Although I'm pretty sure that the CNT FAI in real life was like literally anarcho syndicalist, but whatever. It's so weird. It is quite weird how how it get res gets represented in this game. Personally, I think that there needs to be like. Perhaps one more ideology shoved in or something. Or maybe maybe what you do is you get rid of... Uh... Actually, yeah, yeah, you get rid of radical socialism. You put all of the uh, social democrats that believe a, a revolution is necessary <laughs> um, into social democrats. You know, the militarist wing or whatever. And then you put all of the anarchists that aren't necessarily aligned with socialism or syndicalism. And you know what? Social uh, syndicalism or socialism, actually, because there are like, um, it it is it is kind of a weird question. I, it is this the weirdest ideology in my opinion. You know, because it's it kind of stands in for a lot of different ones. It is very strange. I'm gonna wait for these guys to get reinforced. Oh, support equipment, eh? <laughs> That's not happening anytime soon. <laughs> um, what are we building? Infrastructure. You know what? After the economy civilian, I'm not sure that I really need to get. Okay, well, passive defense is pretty good. And getting those two wouldn't be the worst idea, either. And getting interrogation techniques, suicide pills, psychological warfare... <laughs> and this department, we don't actually have enough to form the... Wait, no, actually, no, we do, because we have 3 plus 5 that we're using right now, so we can form the encryption department. Anyways... Um, let's attack across the river, I guess. Actually, you know what? Let's stop that. Wait, hold on. Yeah, we got economy, civilian. Uh, do we just let this run for a bit? Maybe. Oh, I can't upgrade my intelligence, so... <laughs> um... Uh, air, air intelligence can be pretty good. 
know. Well, no, you know when the enemy has air superiority, do. I guess you can know if you can even try and combat it, is the uh, real thing. Well, you can always try and combat it. it. Might just not be worth it, but oh well. Do we want to get psychological warfare? Yeah, we're going to start uh, probably doing some, uh, some propaganda. Wait, that's compliance growth. That's not... Eh. I thought it was propaganda and boost ideology. Well, if it's not that, then I don't care. Okay. The departments, passive defense, suicide pills, and start forming the departments. We'll wait for the department, though. Um, I don't want to use all my civilian factories just to get the department. Or do I? Oh, uh, we all know I do. <laughs> Why must I be this way? Um... need either of those. We can get passive defense and suicide pills and start forming the department. Alright. Ooh, interrogation techniques could be pretty good as well, actually. Oh yeah, because we get a capture chance. Yeah. You know what, let's start getting some counterintelligence. Co-Intel Pro. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Okay, if you're a baby leftist and you don't know what Co-Intel Pro is, search it up on the interwebs. Or, well, it might be censored severely. Yeah, you'd be surprised, but they... you might be. You might be surprised. <laughs> But the U.S. government likes to censor things just about as much as China does, quite honestly. Uh, <laughs> it just does it in different ways. Sometimes it doesn't even do it in different ways. They just kind of ignore it, and then the government and the people are like, Hey, let's make football the national sport. Yay! Class consciousness? I'm barely even conscious right now. <laughs> um, right now we're using integrated. Yeah, and I quite like it. I don't know. I'm a noob, so don't just don't be mad at me. I'm a noob. I'm a noob, motherfucker. I'm a noob. A noob. I'm a noob, motherfucker. I'm a noob. A noob. A noob. These guys go into the mountains. Here. Oh, those are mountains? I thought those were hills. Oh, Jesus. I think I'd rather go across. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically the same. <laughs> going across a river into hills is the same as going into mountains. What's the difference? Actually, you know what? I can tell you about CoIntel Pro here. CoIntel Pro. Basically. <laughs> just. just horrible. Can you tell I don't know the details right off the top of my head? Yeah. <laughs> I have betrayed you, Marx. Um. As far as I understand, basically. Um. 
U.S. government decided, hey, let's infiltrate literally any organization that is remotely left of center, <laughs> and let's sabotage them. And then, quote, out, unquote, them as communists. <laughs> it's like, <gasps> communists. <gasps> Yeah. I'm a bit of a scatterbrain, if you can't tell. But I've kind of had this idea for like an alternate history scenario, but basically, Joe Hill's execution gets a lot more people mad. <laughs> and so, they... Ooh, we can do Social Slow West Unite. Yeah, because they're not in a faction. Oh, I just realized... Since these guys aren't in a faction, if we were to... Oh, Ma Madras' puppet again. <laughs> Under paternal autocrats this time. But yeah, we could... Um... Wow, yeah, we could we could do that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that is... Alright. Let's do it. And let's do that. <laughs> but yeah. I just realized that we could totally do that. Um, do we want to train? Sure. Sure, everyone... Everyone train. You go over there. Alright. Yeah, I think... I think we need to nip them in the bud. You know? We need to nip them in the bud. I'm trying to see, like... I think it's because we're training right now. It's probably because it's, that's why it's really low. But yeah, I think we need to nip them in the bud. I think it's time. Ooh, okay. The other the other reason that you might not take is is because it's a bit longer. Oh well, <laughs> let's do it. Simply attacking the West may not be enough. It may be risky. But we could also contact socialist elements within the princely federation and get them to rise up even as we attack. It would raise the possibility of princely forces being harassed behind their own eyes. Minds. There is, however, the chance our plans could be betrayed and our enemies given notice of our attack. Well... Oh well. <laughs> you know what? If that means, like, a... Uh... Shit. If that means, like, a... Uh... Like, a, a, a modifier, like, an extra attack and defense against us, that could be pretty bad. God. Uh, I'm gonna research off-camera, because we need an episode. Um, and then I shall decide whether we need to unite the socialists in the West. I'm definitely just gonna take Delhi for that one, because uh, they won't call on their allies if I do that. I'm pretty sure, at least. I sure hope so. Why is the war going on forever? Um... Yeah. What are we doing over here real quick? Eh. Solid eh. Eh. A solid eh. Anyways. Thank you so very much for watching. And remember, comrades, solidarity forever. <laughs>